cut and dry like enough for the water bottles or I, I don't know I'm just trying to you know where it's not really quite subject to the road per se but gets it started down a good path. If I mean we do have an account established at this point for road bonds and this type of thing where we do hold monies where people have to perform to a certain standard and then they can get those monies back once authorized by the road department. The issue with this second layer of government, Travis, is we could take money and say, well, hey, we're accounted all good, but the BLM still may require that minerals exploration bond from them because it's their minerals. Um, and I think that's what you're going to hear from Jared today. Is that even if we do approve this road agreement and send a letter saying we want to incur, uh, support their drilling and that we're all taken care of, I believe, I believe BLM is going to tell you without getting into details that they still have other issues going on that Western Oil is going to have to get through. Um, I know that we've heard that we're the only ones holding up the project, we're just one piece. I said that every meeting. So I'd like to do our part, secure the money, and then get out of all together. And let BLM take over because this is their project they permitted. Okay. On, the, on the agreement, too. Bill, um, could you speak to where? I'm sorry, I just, sorry. I've, I've gotten some complaints. About me? No, no, yes. about people <laughs> being able to hear and not know who's talking. Uh, we noted one thing on the agreement, we did it, we noted it prior, that for some reason CR11 has been on both agreements. That is in the next valley order. That needs to change to 1171. That's the road that goes to their property. So that is definitely, we don't want, we want all the correct numbers on there and we want to get the 111 off of there. We, we, we call them WPs, but yeah. anyway, it needs to be changed. We want to make sure we have all the listed roads on there correctly. Thank you. Uh, can I catch Jared up real quick? Like yes. You missed. Want to come on up here, Jared, for a second? Sure. Good morning, Jared. Thank good, you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I did not receive an invitation for this meeting, so I was assuming it was at 9, so I apologize to the board. Oh. That's all right. Like, no worries. Our apologies. Somehow it ever got, everyone yeah. got crossed all the time. So, yeah. so uh, Jared, what we got is we have a tentative agreement with Western Oil mm -hmm. um, that would meet our local ordinance. Okay. Yeah, so, except there's one part that we are, we're discussing right now, and that's we're requiring them to obtain the appropriate minerals exploration bond mm -hmm. that's approved and set to, the money is set, to, the amount set by BLM within 30 days of today's execution date. And that, that is something that BLM is requiring, and so we should require it too as part of our road agreement because it's only going to benefit both our agencies in preparing that road in the future. Uh, so we wanted to speak, is, is that something that is possible for Western Oil to obtain within 30 days? So, generally, for Western Oil, the bond on that road. Would you mind taking off so we could hear better? Okay. Thank you, Jared. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, for Western Oil, for Western Oil to bond on that road is a little tougher than it is for Western Gold to bond on that road because that that road is is part of Western Gold's plan of uh, our mining notice. So um, Western Gold has increased their bond on their mining notice to BLM. Um, but if Western, Western Oil, we can only increase bonding for Western Oil for the actual APD itself. So it'd be easier for Western Gold to get the minerals exploration bond, is what you're saying? Yeah, because, because Western Oil is fluids. Mm -hmm. And, and Western Gold is locatables or hard rock. And this agreement's with Western Gold, right? So it is, so just because we get, I don't want to get them confused. Forget Western Oil for a second. Western Gold can obtain a minerals exploration bond. Yes, yeah, so um, one thing we have asked of, of Western Gold, the agency, and we have been working with representatives of Western Gold, is that um, we have asked them that they can submit what's called a plan of exploration, which would help cover the additional disturbance out there with an additional bond that would be a bond for an exploration plus a reclamation plan, or we have asked them to submit a restoration plan. And so then that 
those are things that would potentially cover that additional disturbance that is beyond the mining notice. If Western Gold submits either the plan of exploration with the additional bond or a restoration plan, does BLM set or approve the amount or does it do the same calculation or a similar type of calculation to figure out what the correct amount of the bond is? Or is that, uh, do they need, which one comes first? So what comes is that um, what would the process is that Western goal that they submitted a plan of expiration mm -hmm. with a proposed bond, then then we would as an agency determine if that bond was sufficient enough to cover what they are proposing to do. And in this case, the plan of expiration would be to cover the additional disturbance because our requirement is going to be to return um, basically that disturbance back to as close to what it was as prior to the um, activities occurring. Jared, um, is there anyone at the BLM that can assist with getting them in the ballpark for a submission bond so that, so that it doesn't go back and forth? So they prepare the paperwork and say, here's, we'll do a $200,000 bond, and you guys go, well, we really wanted 350 because our calculations throw, I mean, how do they best shortcut that? Okay, so, <clears throat> No, they have been working with uh, our geologist Elizabeth Ben, and um, to work back and forth on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then ultimately, what it comes down to is is that conversation, as well as it is me as the authorized officer to make a determination, and this will also be from assistance from our state office, from our bonding in the state office, to make a determination if that funding is what's being bonded is adequate in order to. Cover those disturbances. So a plan, plan of exploration, a plan of exploration, or a restoration plan. And they are working with with Elizabeth already, Western Gold. Yeah, we've already filed it with with um, the BLM, and Elizabeth is to review that. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Can we just clarify one thing? The the bond that is being worked on on now, Jared, is is that bond just to cover the access road? to the drill site off of 1177 and the drill site itself, or does it include the county road also? Okay, so yeah, the, that's where you have to try to separate Western Oil and Western Gold because they have two different authorizations. Um, even though some of the disturbances on top of each other simultaneous. So Western Gold with part of their mining notice covered county roads. Okay, so that's, so for Western Oil, their requirement for Western Oil was to, on the county roads, was to get authorization from the county, no different than any of their other permitting, like with the state. And so then, as far as the BLM on Western Oil is, we want Western Oil to get back with the county, and that they have to get in compliance with their um, application permit to drill for APD. That's, that's Western Oil. Western Gold has a mining notice, and um, their mining notice, part of their mining notice was covered where that APD is, where the Western Oil is, but also where the county roads are, because it's all federal minerals. Yeah, and that's why we're seeking this additional bond, because the one bond that's in place right now just covers that access road off of our county road to your drill site. Pretty much. Oh, no, that's not correct. You think it covers some of 1177 as it, well? It does, indeed. We had a previous bond for the access road. And then we increased that bond to go all the way from the access road to Highway 50. And then, so now, when, they, when BLM evaluates Western Gold's bond, we'll just think two separate companies for a second. They will take that into consideration for the appropriate amount, so they're not double. That's correct. Yeah. So you have two things going on here with Western Gold. Okay, so they, Western Gold has increased their bond on their mining notice. Okay, that's a mining notice. What they are already authorized for, and any proponent can go and do that. That is perfectly fine. It happens all the time. Um, but for 
any disturbance beyond that mining notice, that is where the agency is required either a plan of expiration or a restoration plan. Because a disturbance is much more than the original plan. Than for, the original. Either, for both companies, really. Yeah, the disturbance is greater than what that mining notice authorized for Western Gold. Disturbance is greater than what the APD authorized for Western Gold. And this, this process of obtaining the bonding and uh, turning in the restoration plan or the plan of exploration, and that's usually something as long as the communication is working that can be done within 30 days? Um, well, the plan of exploration, depending on whether we have to do some additional NEPA or not, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the bonding can't be obtained, obtained and determined. Turned in. Right. So we, even if you don't sign off on the plan of exploration, the bonding can be in place. Kind of. Well, the bonding needs to be, we wouldn't necessarily take the bonding until that plan of exploration is accepted, because taking that bonding means that we've accepted it. Thank you. Okay. Just trying to hammer it out in all fairness to the parties. Because again, I, we're, not trying to, we're not trying to hide the ball here. The county is just after the bond. We just want to make sure we have something in place. So does anybody on the commission have anything for, for Jared? I appreciate you coming down here, I really do. Uh, we really want to take an action on this today to, to finally get it started and put it to bed. Uh, simple as that. You've explained to us in detail, and the, D the DA has, has kind of summarized it for us. Uh, would you have, do you have any other concerns that might come up from the BLM to Western Oil and Western Gold, is there anything else that would maybe throw a roadblock in here? Um, Without going into detail. So, as far as the uh, administrative remedies that we've been engaged in, um, it's really in the hands of Western Gold, Western Oil to um, come forward and, and um, meet those obligations, requirements that the agency has, has uh, placed upon them. Um, and that's just as simple as that. Jared, one of the things I told before you showed up, I'll continue to save you a little bit here. Because I said, even if we check off our boxes for local compliance with local ordinances, the BLM still has some other administrative hoops that Western Gold Western Oil might need to satisfy. So, I mean, it's, not all, it's all hung up on our local ordinance. No, no, this is only one, what the county's involvement is just one, one piece of it. And so, from from the agencies, where the agency is at is that not only our requirements, but part of that, those authorizations for both Western Oil and Western Gold have a requirement to be in conformance with all federal, state, and local laws and ordinances. And so um, they have a requirement to meet the state requirements, um, as well as the local and the federal. So, with Lifetime County, that is that is just one entity out of numerous entities that they need to be in conformance with. And, that, and, and we, we need to put on our hats and just think about our role in this. This is a project that BLM permitted, and BLM has their situation with Western Oil Western Gold. We just are concerned with obtaining that protection and bond and road maintenance agreement for to protect our county taxpayer obligations. Pretty much. I'm sorry, I have a little bit of confusion. So the increase in the bond that Western Gold did, mm -hmm. really, uh, even though it was increased, still does not um, benefit them in the way that with the bond that they need to get now for the road, the road to satisfy the county. Is that correct? The way I understand it, Lori, is they did increase their bond, but it's still not adequate for the disturbance that's been okay. been done. And so they have that's why the BLM is saying there's enough disturbance here that okay. mineral exploration plan is necessary. Right, and the distinction there, um, Commissioner Carson, is that the bond they increase is for their existing authorization. Right. The mining notice versus what BLM is requiring, which is a plan of exploration or a restoration plan. Okay. And so then 
which path that is taken is up to Western Wall Street. They want to file a plan of exploration with a reclamation plan, or just purely a, a plan of, or sorry, they want to file a plan of exploration with a reclamation plan that any mining company would do, or if they just want to file a restoration plan, either one of those needs to be bonded to cover the disturbance. Thank you. Jared, I just had a question. Uh, so say this bond gets all done and everything, and, and then we end up having to use it. What is the process of the county working with the BLM to get that? Does the money just come to us, or do you guys get the contractors, or, or maybe just touch on that process so I know? So I think that <clears throat> that process is really going to depend on how the county decides to move forward with um, who they want to have fix that road. If you want to have Western Oil slash Western Gold be a third party to take that on. Um, because that bond is, it's bonded to BLM. It, it's not bonded to the county. So basically what the commission would have to be saying is that we're aware of this bond that BLM has gotten for either a plan of exploration or a restoration plan, and that we feel that that covers our needs. And if that's the case, then that would be the decision for the county. So if, that, if, if we did request those funds, you know, ideally Western Oil and Gold would fix the road and one half to do it. But if we did request the funds, would you be able just to, in a sense, write us a check or are all the contractors and all that going to have to go through a BLM type of a, uh, solicitation? Right. So if they're... So if Western Gold, Western Oil is bonding to BLM, then that would go through BLM because their bond would require that restoration on that road, as well as other disturbances that are outside of the existing authorization. That would so be my concern. We wouldn't be able to trade money to the county if that's what they're asking. But does, does, who, who hires the road contractors? Who would hire the road contractor to fix it? The county, because it is the county right of way. And if we fix it, a road contractor, what is, how does the bond benefit us? The, um, if you hired a contractor outside, just strictly for the county, then that bond probably would not, because then the county would still have to pay that contractor. Okay, so how does the bond benefit the county then? Or how, did the, how does the bond secure that road's gonna get fixed so that the BLM and the county are made whole? Okay, so <clears throat> Western Western Gold slash Western Oil they, they bond for that plan of exploration or restoration plan, then part of that bonding would be the requirement, especially with the reclamation part, to return that road. Oh, to obtain that money in return, if I get if I get deposit, they have to get it fixed. They have to get it fixed, yes. My question on that is what if your needs exceed the amount of the bond and there was nothing left. If let's say the disturbance to the BLM land was more than what the bond was worth and then we still have the road to fix, who's going to come up with the money for that or how are we going to do that? And that's that that'd be a big concern to us because you know contracting all kinds of different and I'm not trying to get too deep into it, but if there's a lot of claims by the BLM that exceed the amount of the bond then there's not enough money left in there to to give to the county for the road, right? So that's my, that would be my question about that because the bond is for many things, not just the road. It's for you guys first. You're first in line. Yeah. We're second. I actually thought it was different. So the bond appears as just a lever to to get the permittee to clean up their mess if they want to see their lever back, <laughs> their money back. That's all it is. It does. It's not. It's just a, a mechanism to induce them to restore the land, to receive their deposit. That's the way I see it. It's not actually used to hire a contractor to fix anything. That, that's why it goes to my point is they could cut us a check today, put it in that account, and then, you know, we're making actual progress and can access that money. Whereas this route, that road could be that way for years or never get done. Correct. And then the only other thing that, if, if Travis, we want to go that way, and I'm with you on this now, is how do we come up with the appropriate amount? Yeah, I mean, that's 
or it's got a piecemeal approach, or you know, I don't know. Because it sounds like we're, no matter what we do, they still have to get their minerals exploration bonds field out. If we just quit right now, Jared, and just never had another meeting on this ever again, would BLM still require a mineral exploration and restoration plan from, from gold? Yes. And yeah, that's what I thought. So it doesn't matter what we do. And they would require us to clean, if, if it all washes away today, we would still be required to repair that road when the right of way expires. Uh, that's, Back the paper, that's what the paperwork says, though. Right. Condition. So, I mean, I mean, that's what the paperwork says. Okay. All right. So, we talked about that. I don't want to talk about it too much today. All right. That's what the paperwork says. We're required to, to return that uh, right away in, in the same or similar condition as which we were in today. So, is this kind of a, just asking you, because it's the intent. Is this a satisfactory arrangement? Is the BLM satisfied with this kind of an arrangement? Uh, we want to make sure of that. So, BLM, we haven't determined the appropriate amount of bonding yet for a plan of exploration. So right now, as far as um, you know, a little, I would say some steps have been taken by. Western Oil, where they, they did, where they increased the bond on their existing money notice, but, um, and then Mr. Franklin said that he, he had submitted a package to our geologist yesterday, but nothing has been met yet, as far as, from the agency's perspective. So we haven't determined the appropriate amount of bonding yet, we haven't accepted that plan of exploration yet, um, it's just starting. I'm going to ask for a post litigation special meeting. We'll take a five minute break. Is that the all right, Chairman? Yes. Uh, at, this, at this time, we'd look for a motion to close this session for special litigation, and then we'll be right back. Well, we'll motion. motion by Ian. Second. Second by Travis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion on the table for a break while we do the special litigation meeting. Thanks. Thank you. Here we are. I don't need a motion to go back in, do I mind? I just no. go, up here. Back go back in. into the uh, meeting after our, our litigation meeting. We're still discussing the uh, the uh, resolution 2020-48. Uh, do we need the order to close our room? No, no, no we're, I'm still. Still. we're discussing the satisfactory agreement between uh, the, the BLM is satisfied with the agreement that we are hopefully about to make. Is that right, Mike? That's correct. We just okay. need to try to see if we can get an agreement with uh, Western Gold. Okay. Do you want to take the lead on what we discussed, Mike? No, go ahead, Travis. Yeah, I'll let Travis take the lead. lead. That was advice, so you guys can kind of figure out what you want to do. So what we discussed is we would strike the paragraph with the BLM bonding requirements, since that's kind of, uh, doesn't really do us any good, and rather just require a cash bond from Western Oil within 30 days we, fit, we, you know, bought, we just kind of spitballed, but thought about 500,000 do it, do within 30 days. At that time, we would trigger the letter that says no objections to letting Western Oil resume when you see it number one. And then that cash bond, you know, would be delivered back uh, at time that the road uh, is fixed and wells in and water wells, etc. Yeah. yeah. And, the idea is because the county can Especially if we get the water and gravel in place of Western Gold, the county can repair those roads for so much cheaper than a road contractor to try to save Western Gold that money. Um, and then that money all goes back to Western Gold if, when those roads are brought up, you know, and maintained. So um, the other thing, that letter that you're talking about that we send to BLM can also talk about that we can even state boldly that all local laws, ordinances, and conditions have been met and get that completely checked off their list. And would that, excuse me, would that bonding be then a reimbursement as the county, if the county were going forward with work, either hiring of contractors to assist or whatever, that would be reimbursable as the process? Correct. I'd like forward. to see it be just like any other, and we charge against it, and then we can refund to Western Gold what's not used. You know? That's my question. But it's but just like anything else, we have to check that money. Okay. But uh, it, they could easily, if they can figure out how to maintain the roads for the project and get all the investors on board and everything's working well, they can repair that road and just get the bond back, have it all done. 
So. And then this also is, you know, this can be done this week or, you know, if the as money soon, is actually there, you know, then we're... As soon as that money's in the bank, there's, I mean, that's always what I've said. We just need some of those assurances. And then, with, then they're not having to mess with BLM through trying to go through the permit to get our releases. Because I think that's what's been problematic over the last month for James, is that we keep requiring him to get through the BLM tape. But that that's his, they're still working on that. And they don't need us to be tying him up for that as well. So um, I think that could work. Maybe we just change what he could so I guess I don't, if James wants to come up, yeah. or I can make the motion, or if he can do that, or, or not, or I don't, I, I guess that's what it comes down to. Let's hear the motion on the dollar amount. Then we'll let James come up and speak to whether that's that's agreeable. Is that okay? But let's make a motion on what we what we conceive as a dollar amount to be put into the White Pine County Treasurer. Is that right? And then uh, we'll, make, we'll, we'll call James up to see if that's satisfactory. Yeah, and if you, you recall the original agreement, we tried to get an NFX involved. It was three and a half million dollars is what NGX, as a contractor, said it would take to repair that road. Um, and then we've had other discussions with other contractors, but we that's just too big of a sum. We want to, we are trying to be as realistic as possible about what it would take our road department to bring that road back. So we can give it back, because it expires, the right way expires in the next couple of years. We have to give it back to BLM, and we're going to be responsible for fixing it. So let's just... We're just trying to cover the bare minimum so Western Oil and Western Gold can get going with their project and that we cover what our expenses the road department is going to be. Okay, so I move to make a motion that in, in the working agreement we have now, we strike the sentences or paragraph that talks about obtaining a sufficient BLM bond and add in that Western Gold slash Western Oil uh, put in a cash bond with the county in the amount of 500000 due within 30 days yep. of full execution of this road agreement. And then that letter, just so it's part of your motion, that will, we'll get to item one in a second. I guess we can do that separately, the other item. Yeah. Second. And yeah. I'd just like to clarify that, that, that not only the, the restoration of the road, but also the two wells and the gravel pits be in place mm -hmm. for the return of that bond. And we'll have that, in, that's in the agreement, I think, the wells and the gravel as well. For, oh, for the return of the bond that they're been built. And yes. Yes. Yeah. Second. You satisfied with that motion? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, we have a motion by Travis and a second by Ian with the uh, addendum that uh, Shane just brought up. Is there any other discussion by the commission right now? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Pass unanimous. And that was on item two. We're gonna go. Is that right, Mike? You guys had asked for, for James. Oh yeah, James, come on forward. Uh, explain to them also what the next item is and what you'll be considering. Okay. I uh, so I guess so depending on what James has to say here, but number one, that letter will be triggered once we have receipt of the money. Right. Yeah. And, and to to clarify for James, again, that letter is a, an endorsement of the project and that all our local ordinances and laws that have been met by Western and Western Oil Western. Goal. We'll send that right over to BLM so that we know everything. So they'll know that we're all good. We are all taken care of. The assurances are here. That's what the letter is. Yeah, I mean, Western um, Oil is not in a position to post a half million cash bond today. Uh, we have to, we were pursuing bonds for a larger amount of money prior to this. And, uh, you know, the, the BLM, we understood, was we went the route that we did. Um, we do have commitments from investors, uh, but with the rig sitting out there uh, waiting, uh, you know, the, the investors are waiting. I've got to get um, the investors behind me. If we can't uh, get someplace in between to where we can let that rig continue to drill and bring in this well, uh, you know, I can't get the confidence of the investors behind me. Uh, that's really where I'm at. I've got commitments. Uh, you know, we've got about $300,000 right now that we've got enough to finish that well and additional commitments for $5 million to come in once we get that permission. But I want to tell you something, Dave, I cannot do it. Um, with all due respect, I, can't, I cannot tell you I'm going to get you a half million dollars in 30 days or before we get this letter. We're basically uh, stopped until we can basically continue to drill. Okay. Uh, that was part of the discussion that 
this that really needs to be in place because we're, we're really between a rock and a hard place. And to continue on with this meeting after meeting, we, we set forward what the county needs the half a million dollars to proceed with this project. You have told us that you probably can't come up with that money you know, within 30 days. So the county's in a position right now, without that commitment, we cannot proceed to go any further with this project. We're going to have to, uh, I mean, that's my, I'm just trying to give a consensus of what the county's feeling.